Uh, to our next topic, if you guys have nothing else to add. No. All right. So okay. we're going to be talking about not Sony, but the competitor, Xbox. Um, so there's been lots of news about Xbox recently. Um, that it seems like they're making a lot of big steps um, in a lot of small steps, if that makes sense. So they announced that they are now getting rid of Xbox Live, the name. Instead, it's called Xbox Network. They've also announced that Xbox Gold um, is not necessarily needed. I, I'm always confused with these names, so I, I'm... <laughs> If I'm mixing up the name, please correct me. But now you actually don't need their online service for some free-to-play games, which is awesome and kind of up-to-date with what PlayStation is doing on the PS5, PS4 uh, side of things. And then there's all these rumors now that Xbox and Microsoft is in talks to buy Discord. Yes, Discord, yep. the thing that we all use, the thing that we're using right now, actually, for this podcast to communicate so many Gamers now use this to stream, uh, to connect with their friends. People even run businesses out of Discord. I just want to yeah. get your opinion on everything that Xbox is doing. Um, I feel like these are kind of small steps, but they're kind of answering a lot of things that when we were looking back at the PlayStation 5 versus kind of the Series X, we were talking about what each company kind of needs to do to make themselves more competitive. And it seems like Xbox is kind of checking all the boxes on the things that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, if you don't mind me taking it away here, last week, or it was last week or two weeks ago, we talked about, you know, I kind of brought up this point of maybe eventually Microsoft really doesn't care about making consoles anymore. Mm. And it it's looking a lot right now like they're starting to make that move towards being just a general service that bundles a whole lot of stuff because playstation's voice chat is awful and they they need discord so yeah. bad but microsoft acquiring it and then maybe bundling xbox game pass with it or you know doing something there and just making discord the general home for gaming communications on pc and xbox that's one of the biggest things too if you can have parties between consoles and between platforms and it's all built in you don't have to like use your phone with headphones while you also have your gaming headset on you know what i mean yeah. it's mm -hmm. one of those things where like we really need a streamlined way for people to just be able to connect and microsoft doing that is going to be a, a thousand steps farther than anything playstation can do because at the end of the day discord has a lot of built-in utilities where if you see your friends playing a game on xbox game pass guess what you could probably right click in two in two buttons two seconds you're playing that game with your friend like there's yeah. so much cross compatibility there that i think microsoft is is planning for i agree 100 percent. but i also think that i mean we're a gaming uh, podcast so we always focus on like the gaming aspects of news like this but i also think that this this possible acquisition is targeted towards issues that are far removed from the gaming side for Microsoft. To me, this reads as like a, a way for Microsoft to better improve Microsoft Teams mm -hmm. uh, for business and consumer use uh, rather than like bolstering its its gaming services. Um, even through 2020, Microsoft Teams has been growing in numbers like astronomically just because of like the pandemic, people working from home, using it for business services and everything like that. But even more recently in the past few months like they have been struggling with hackers with security flaws and that's something that they need to rectify and yeah. discord could potentially help them with that but at the same time like discord has its own issues as we all know like every time before we start this podcast we're, we're trying to troubleshoot <laughs> issues yeah. so I, yeah so i think that there is a way for those two companies to kind of come together and and unify um and then you gotta also keep in mind that Microsoft's biggest competitors in this space of of these like chat rooms and stuff like that they they're all unified they they all make sense Apple has iMessage Facebook has Messenger and WhatsApp Google has Hangouts like Microsoft has Skype Skype for business Microsoft Teams and if you put a gun against my head and told me the difference between all of them I wouldn't know <laughs> so maybe <laughs> this is a way for them to like unify all these services and say okay this is how we're moving forward this is how we're going to uh, grow our subscription bases and our user bases for all these just under like one banner whether it's microsoft teams or discord now do we see 
Xbox possibly... Now, this is all just rumor. I just want to clarify. Of course. Um, but if this deal actually goes through, do we see Microsoft rebranding Discord? No. No. I think... I don't oh, think so. I just want to say, I think that the reason why this deal is taking so long, because it's kind of... It was, it was vaguely rumored two weeks ago, and up until, like, last week, it just started getting solidified. Mm -hmm. I think the reason why this is being a rumor and why it might be being worked on so hard is because discord has been known to maintain their brand integrity they they know the communities that they started with and who they service primarily gamers but they are starting to have that mainstream appeal i think that they are dead set in making sure that they keep their branding the same so that way they don't let microsoft kind of convert it into some like weird corporate you know thing of course um yeah, yeah I, I don't see it being a possibility. I do, see, but at the same time, I, I can see there being a reality where Microsoft buys them and uses just the tech, mm. to be honest. Like, oh, because so, so they kind of let Discord be its own thing and they take kind of like how it's run and put it into their other software. Yeah, they let Microsoft or let Discord exist as it is, maybe integrate it better with Xbox and, and, and have it like as a pre installed app on PC and everything, but. The big thing that they want is that technology and i think yeah. that that's the big play here is to get that technology and help bolster its other services outside of gaming because microsoft as much as it is a gaming company it's really not at the same time it's a pc company and service company yeah. they're and they're very business oriented you know you yeah. want to you look at a competitor like zoom they maybe want to make discord that new place to do yeah. stuff like that you know um and so i can see that that is a big part of the acquisition beyond just what they can do in terms of integrating it into something like Xbox. But I mean, in general, you already look at what Microsoft has been able to do before there was ever a discord, everyone was using Skype, you know, yeah, and, and that, and that's what everyone was all about. And I think one thing that everyone can unanimously praise about Xbox is their party chat feature mm -hmm. and, and how, how good it is in terms of connection and audio and all that stuff. So to have the tech and everything available through discord and to be able to partner up with them or just to acquire them, uh, would be really huge for Microsoft, uh, a pretty big win. And you're right, Malik, they are starting to pivot into that direction of being less focused on what they're going to do with their console and more focused in terms of just them as a brand, you know, because Microsoft, it's it's a lot of things. It's not just Xbox, you know, it's your PC, yeah. it's Windows, you know, it's, it's, it's I mean, Skype wall is no, no longer a thing. It was stuff like that, you know, so... So Microsoft is a, is a pretty huge brand. And so to acquire something like Discord, I would like to see how they're gonna integrate it into Xbox and how we can potentially start to use that as our party chat function. That would be fun. Yeah. But yeah. in general, this is such a smart like business move. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I feel like, yeah, sorry, go ahead, Steve. No, I was just gonna quickly like point out, like even going back to the Xbox One, there was a Skype app on the console. Yeah. So you could just imagine like the full integration on Xbox Series with Discord and being able to cr like have cross communication between Xbox Party Chat and Discord. That'd be awesome. I'd well, be all for it. Agreed. And you know, you could you could use Discord now on the Xbox Series X and Xbox One, but it's not as It's not native, right? Exactly. It's not native. You have to download yeah. it and it's very limited in terms of um, what you can do. However, yeah. you could do more on the Xbox app than you can on the PlayStation app. So maybe that just shows like the relationship between the mm. two was a little bit closer beforehand. Um, but I do feel like there are a lot of other apps, like you mentioned, Steve, that are kind of similar to this. And I feel like Microsoft could have made the play to buy out any of those apps before, right? Um, or yeah. made the play to buy them out instead. But they're looking to Discord, I think, because they know there's a huge possibility, um, you know, to kind of make waves in the gaming sense, especially now that they don't have Mixer. They have kind of like this extra pool of money. Like, where do they yeah. go outside of their console and Game Pass um, that they're investing in? Because Microsoft has been known to do that, like they did with Mixer. And I think this is it. I think Discord is the way to go. I would really hope that they don't kind of rename the service uh, just because Discord is just beloved by the community and it's known for, um, yes, having its problems, but it's just kind of like this beloved service that we all use now. Yeah. Um, but I do feel like it's it's not going to be immediately a um, 
takeover of teams. I think, like you mentioned, they may use some aspects of Discord over to teams and maybe am amalgamate all their different types of apps that help businesses. But yep. I really do feel if they buy Discord, they're, they're looking for the gaming side of things um, and to develop that further within their platforms. I don't think that means that, you know, Discord is gonna be exclusive to PC and <laughs> Xbox. Right. I think that yeah. wouldn't be the smartest move, but I no. do feel like um, they're definitely making steps in the right direction. And I, I wanted to point out too, is now there's already companies and games have like their official discord, right? But imagine if you have, you know, on your left hand side, the, the actual verified ones have like a little green check mark. So, you know, it's the official game discord sure. and the game developers work with discord to directly set them up. I think you could also see that kind of thing be reflected in the business side. Like you said, I didn't even really think about that because they can just take that tech and put it over with teams and really streamline the process and plus if you have discord on the gamer side you know the discord is the gamer brand and team is right. as the business but they both operate exactly the same mm -hmm. then you're closing that gap of like oh i know how to use this this is simple this is easy and and then you can really kind of streamline people to get into gaming and then gaming to business and vice versa yeah, yeah for sure because i feel like if they were looking for more business i think slack would have been the better buy for them yeah. um if they were right. just looking to kind sure. of um better teams but i think this just makes way more sense however i will mention the rumors also you know are swarming that discord actually approached microsoft and xbox yeah. as opposed to microsoft and xbox approaching discord so that could be interesting as well because there are apparently other buyers that are interested in buying out discord um, yeah. But I think if we're able to keep it within the gaming family, a company that knows gaming really well, since a, such a large part of Discord is gaming, I, I think that would be the right move for the community. Agreed. Can you can you imagine if PlayStation was just swoops it up out of nowhere? Because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like I said before, PlayStation is the one who needs it. Xbox, it would benefit Xbox a lot, but Xbox doesn't need it because you can add a, you can already kind of communicate between PC and Xbox just, you know, outside of a, the game. Because normally mm -hmm. if you're doing crossplay, you can only communicate inside the game. PlayStation finally being able to connect PC to their PS4 and PS5 users would be huge. But I think Xbox, now that the buzz is out there, mm -hmm. they kind of are not backed into a corner of force to buy it, but people are really hyped about this announcement. Well, I think it's also worth pointing out, like the, the reports say that they were approached in an exclusive deal. Yes. So they were the only ones that really sit down and have an actual conversation. But then at the same time, uh, the people that spoke to, I believe it was the Wall Street Journal, also said that it's more likely that Discord is just going to go public. Yeah. 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 Rather oh. than an acquisition. So, well, they, supposedly we'll find out in a month's time. That's how that's how quick they want to move on this. Wow. If they oh, go boy. public, that's pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah. Who's buying stocks? I am. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna boom. Discord's oh, only sure. going up. I know Ga it's it's like gamers are just winning in terms of the <laughs> stock market. Yeah, uh, GME and now this. Holy I know. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got to be careful. The U.S. government's gonna shut us down for inside trading. It's okay. We have Reddit. <laughs> we have Reddit. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Um, and on that note, why don't we actually take a quick break, and we'll be we'll be back with more uh, gaming goodness. Yeah. 